session is going to be about voting. We're going to talk about is voting necessary and does it benefit you? Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. It Wait, does. before we get started, my name is Gabby. I'm Joy. JT. And this is Talk It Out. Okay, I just want to start because I already know kind of from the vibe that of what Gabby and KT's view are on voting. And I just want to say that I am in the minority here. No, 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 you're not. Because I'm going to agree half of what you say. We've already kind of, <laughs> and, and just a little background, we've already kind of like discussed our little topic today. And she's getting a vibe from me, but I, I don't think she's going to be surprised. I okay, think. Okay, hopefully I'm, I'm So how, how do you feel about voting? Then we can go from there. I think it's necessary. If and you, If you want to complain about whatever's happening in our politics then you have to vote simply because if you don't vote don't complain because you're not you're not putting your voice in you're not putting your little bit of action in that says hey i voted for obama or i voted for uh george bush or mccain or whoever you vote for and say hey i voted for this person and this is what happened or this is didn't what did this didn't happen you can't be mad about anything in life if you don't vote. My point. Casey? <laughs> so, I agree to an extent. Oh, I God. agree that you you do need to vote. You need to vote in your state senators so that yes. we can change how things are outlined for us here on the city level. We need to vote in our city officials. So that they yep. can change how it is here as well. We we do need to do the voting, but do I do I think that previous voting benefited us in any way? No, because we focus more on president voting than we do on city officials and and state senators because those are those that. are truly the people who change it. Yes. Those are truly the people who who set up in here and make the decisions. It's not the president. I know everyone wants to say thanks Obama, but Obama is ultimately not the one making these decisions. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I understand what you're saying. I might, well, I might not agree with everything. Let's just ad- address the president as what he is. Yes, he's great. The Amazing. Pr- no, 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 no. He's not Obama. He's President Obama. Because that's what he is. When we say when we say President Bush or, or George W. Bush, we call him that now. But while he was president, nobody was calling him uh, just regular Bush. Oh, really? I mean, I don't know, because the, I never, I, it didn't apply to me at the time, so I, I never even thought about politics that didn't even, I was never like, oh, well, there's Bush, or oh, there's President Bush, it was, like Obama that. has been, like, or President Obama, for you, has only <laughs> been, uh, like, has been a president for me for eight years now, and that's most of my adult life, so when my decision matters is yeah. when he has been a president. Yeah. I get that. I, I'm just talking about as far as I know this is off topic, but I'm talking about as far as news wise mm-hmm. They when he was first coming out, mm-hmm. they they call him Obama. Yeah. When he was com- but when he after he was inaugurate inaugurated. Is that right? Yes. Inaugurated. Inaugurated. Um, they call him Obama, which was a disrespect. Because it, it they, is they had never they had never called a president by their last name before. And I just think that was disrespectful. That but let's disrespectful. continue with the voting process. I'm sorry. No, that's OK. No, I, I completely agree with what you're saying. But like for the for the voting process, it, I, I don't think that it has applied to us since we are just like 21, 22, 23, 24. We have the only thing that has really affected us is the state and community officials. We should be the people who are us. We should be the people who are like, okay, 
we need to step up, vote out all of these people who yep. do not have a time limit on how long they've been in. Yes. And they're like 80 years old and making decisions for 18 year olds. And, and their life does not apply to us any longer. Exactly. We're a different generation. We're different people. Yeah. And times are different. Money is different. Money is so different now so different. than it was when they were younger. And I don't feel like that they should be the ones making decisions for us. And I know everyone was like, in love with Bernie Sanders, but like he's Not an me. old guy, and he he's he. I don't feel like he was in it for us, mm-hmm. even though everyone was like, "Yeah, well, Bernie does this and Bernie does that, and Bernie he does cares this. about the young he people." He cares. Like it was the whole white savior thing again. Like ah. you know, Bernie, um, Bernie, the white guy. He finally cares with us. He's walked with Martin Luther King. Oh my God! Like he's doing what he's supposed to do. It's not about. Um, I I just feel like voting is has become unnecessary well, because it doesn't my, matter. My two mm, cents. I don't agree with that one. Let's let's ask Gabby. Gabby, what okay. do you think? Okay. So I also agree with both of y'all in the fact that we need to uh, spend more time voting on our local officials and senators and congressmen mm-hmm. because what happened was their second term Obama had. We were like, oh, yeah, Obama won, but then, like, everybody became, like, the Senate and, which one was Senate or the congressman? The the House, the House, the House House was all Republican. How can a Democratic president make any kind of change in a Republican House, and, a Republican and then everyone House. else blamed the president, That's which ridiculous. goes back to so, yeah. it's not about the president. It's not that we but need to be focusing on. on because if you tell people, to me, if you tell people, oh, it doesn't matter if you learn one, two, three, just as long as um four five and six apply they're not gonna they're gonna they're not gonna but do that's anything. what we're saying we're saying for okay so you well, what i'm saying is that we need to not focus on how like the presidency as much as much we need to focus more on the local state the senate we do not need to focus on the presidency because but, and ultimately here's the thing. he is not there to 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 do what the that's what the whole like three branches of government is in place for like we're not even following those because really we should be like electing city officials first and I'm sorry I'm going on a tirade really but on. it's so annoying to me what I was going to say was the <laughs> president like they tell us now like if we say Obama hasn't done this Obama hasn't done they say well he couldn't have got anything passed because of the Republican House or whatever so what I'm saying is like y'all, even if Donald Trump gets passed, if we have a let's not even talk about that. If he have, if we have a Democratic uh, Senate and House or whatever, he's not going to be able to do much. Just like they did with Obama, I agree with we that. can do the same thing. Both. So I mean, you do both because the marketing, every the news, the media, they're all about the president. The president thing is going to get covered. That that's a given. But we need to ourselves rally up the young people. For these local, yeah, even these the local, real local stuff like dis, dis, district our attorneys. districts, like yes. in Memphis. As far as voting goes, and, and to anybody who says that their vote doesn't count, their vote doesn't matter, I don't. I don't think that's true. I think that when you say that your vote doesn't matter, or it doesn't matter what I'm gonna say, especially if it's about the president. Because let me just say, do I agree that we should vote local? Yes, most definitely. Do I agree we should vote for the House and the Senate and the things like that? Of course. Uh, Congress, of course, because no change is ever going to happen if we don't. But, but if we get a president, is, do you know at least ten people? Can you name at least ten people in the Senate right now no, or in Congress? Me either, because no, I, no one even puts no one anything pushes on that. It. And I, but I know that I should vote for the people. I know that, and that's why this year yeah. I'm going to make a change and I'm going to do what I have to do. Yeah. But if we get a president who is untrustworthy who sells our secrets to other countries then we think we have a war on terrorism there really will be a terrorism war going on then if we get an untrustworthy president so if you vote if you don't vote for the president then you're might as well hand our country over to the people who you're trying to protect it from let me just give a quote from um juan williams who is a personality on Fox News. 
He says, voting is a constitutional right. Absent any evidence of fraud, all Americans have a protected right to vote. Be they rich or poor, black, Hispanic, or white, people who live in a big city or people who live in remote areas. Also, I want to say Jeff Greenfield said that men and women in my lifetime have died fighting for the rights to vote. People like James Chauncey, Andrew Goodman, and Michael Scrutner who were murdered while registering as black voters to vote in Mississippi in 1964. Viola Luzio, who was murdered by the Ku Klux Klan in 1965 during the Selma March for Voting Rights. Mm -hmm. We have all these people who have died for the right to vote. And let me just say, because I am black, most people who I hear from who are saying that they that their vote is not going to matter. That's what the people want you to think. There'll never be any change if you don't vote, if you don't open your eyes and say, hey, just because I don't think I'm going to make a difference, Rosa Parks made a difference. Just she was one person. Don't believe. Girl, don't, don't. don't buy into that. Don't buy into that. You know what I'm saying? Because if one person doesn't <laughs> vote and they and they tell another person, oh, I'm not going to vote, and they get that mentality, now it's hundreds of people with that mentality. Oh, my vote's not going to matter. And the numbers, they add up, y'all. The numbers add up. That's well, I'll just I'm say saying. this. Anybody who... Like the people that are adamant, or if you're adamant about not voting at all for anything, just make sure you're doing something, something. Either vote. You, even if, you, if you're not going to vote, make sure you're organizing people, doing some type of activism or boycotting or something because you're not doing anything. Don't do nothing. And you're not doing anything, does nothing. So if you're not going to vote, do something. And when we're, while we're on voting... Let's talk about donors and presidents and how we as people don't have that much power in the fact that when the president goes into office, his first obligation is to make sure the donors are all uh, happy, happy so that they can give him money for the next campaign. Somebody go on to that. Why don't you go on to that? Okay. So... Let's talk about Hillary talk Clinton, for instance. Hillary Clinton is pretty much funded by Wall Street, of course, just like many of her other... Where's the receipts? No. Huh? <laughs> Where's the receipts? <laughs> well, I mean, she had that... She had <laughs> no, that... I'm um, joking. I'm joking. <laughs> didn't she have that speech or something? But she had, like, all those Wall Street people, they paid her, like, a million dollars. Anyways... <laughs> So people are saying they're trying to get the black people, they're trying to get the women, they're trying to get everybody to hop on the Hillary Hillary train because they think she's going to be the one to help us. When, in fact, when it comes to economic inequality, you know, race plays a factor, but also it's, it's rich versus poor. It's a class issue as well. And if these people on Wall Street are funding the president you think is going to help save you economically, you, you got another thing coming. Yeah. Ain't, ain't nothing progressive finna happen <laughs> if you got somebody in the elite class funding your president. You yeah. know what I mean? If only Bernie Sanders, I mean, he wasn't our savior or anything, but at least we could say mm -hmm. he was funded by the people. And if he would have gone into office, he wouldn't have been trying to please you no know, big corporations. He had a, a better a better that, chance that we of being of. obligated. That we know. I exactly, mean, exactly. Bernie Sanders, let him, I was, like I told my friends, I was all for Bernie Sanders going in because he was not, not going to last very long. <laughs> I mean, they, Hillary, I, this, is my, this is my thing. I think, you know, Hillary, uh, that first time Obama was running, Hillary was actually in the lead in the beginning. I think they told Hillary because Hillary was gonna, gonna run it theory. out. <laughs> Hillary was gonna run it out all the way to the <laughs> DNC. I think they told Hillary they were like Hillary. Now we gotta let Obama win because Obama is for sure going to win this ticket. Now we gonna make you Secretary of State. <laughs> After Obama gets his two terms, you automatically you are the Democratic nominee. Cause think about it, 
there was Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, the dude from Baltimore, and like the racist guy and some other guy. There was no chance. Hillary automatically had it in the back. They didn't even have anybody that could really compete with her except for Bernie Sanders. There was like no other candidate where it was kind of, you know, she had Bernie it in the back. Bernie wasn't competing. He was just in there for the popular Bernie content. Sanders could have beat Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton, her and Donald Trump is kind of close. Yes. Bernie Sanders could have beat Hillary uh, Clinton. Let's, let's not even give him the respect the because I, of I don't saying even wanna, Donald Trump. Like, I don't Donald even want to talk about him. Donald Duck. And call him Donald Duck. DD. They're, DT. They're, they're Crazy. No, I mean, enough people are talking about him and how he reacts to certain situations. And I feel like a lot of my white counterparts are like, Oh, he speaks his mind, and he says no, this. No, let's blah, not even blah, blah. get into that. It's not. It's not just it's a not, white thing. Oh Lord, it's Lord a black thing him. as well. It's a. It's a universal thing as far as Donald Trump goes. People buy into him because he he is perfect. I'm not even gonna lie. You got to give him props where he gives props. Mm. Um, he does a very good job at getting people fears right up. worked up. As far as um, terrorism and I'm going to give you jobs, he never says how he's going to do anything or explains his plans or d- and maybe he will in the, the debate, but he doesn't. But that kind of goes into like the the perception of white men as having all the answers because let Obama would have came in and said, I'm going to fix America and well, not have a plan. Well, he did, and then people were like, but I'm saying, well, how? How and are not you have a plan. Blah, blah, blah. He at least had something up, and he at least had experience. You know, if Obama would just came, oh, he's just a little businessman. I'm going to run for president. I Let might me. have some plans or something like that. He wouldn't have lasted two seconds. No. But because this man is white and rich and a man, I, he automatically has experience. Exactly. And he automatically can compete with Hillary, who's been in politics for how many decades? Exactly. And furthermore, if as far if, if we're gonna look into this and talking about, I'm not even just talking about Donald Trump. America, who who um, buys into this act of whatever they're selling, you have to think about who you're who you're voting for. I mean. I know people have said, oh, Hillary's not that great of a choice either, or and neither is Donald Trump, so I'm just not going to vote. Don't do that. Just because you think you don't have any good choices, vote for the lesser evil. No, that's what I'm no, doing. I don't, I don't feel that that's true at all, because there's, there's other... There's other options than voting no, they're for not. the two. No, it's there, not. There are. They're not. There's independence. They're not. They're, and maybe they're, they're not, not as a a popular. Chance. They're not going to win. But here's they're the thing. They're not going to win. They, this is how they get us. Because during I, this whole time. I don't time, think that we should just vote for the lesser evil. But yeah. but I don't. I know. But here's how they get us. Because while they they were doing all this Democratic uh, debates and Republican debates, not once did they have the third party or the other party's debates. So there nobody was no else publicity. knows them. So and so tonight, now it's like it's crunch time now. So if and you're the trying only people to, who can win is Donald Duck and Hillary. But if they would have gave the other parties a chance, then maybe then they would have had a chance. But they don't do that. And so then they wait till the last minute. So now everybody's freaking out because the the These right the is saying the right is saying Hillary Clinton is the devil. The left is saying, saying Donald, Donald Trump, Trump is, is going devil. to mess up America. So like No, no, no. no. I've heard that Donald Trump is sending us to hell. Like this is the revolution. Revelation. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I read that too on Facebook. But yeah, so it's like it they don't really have a chance. It's not really fair because I'm sure if especially people our age, if we were more uh exposed to these other parties, they might have a chance. Yes, like if, I, w- if, I would have voted for somebody But that else comes back it. to the media. Like I feel like that maybe corporations, the same corporations that fund these political things are the same corporations that fund the media stations that oh, yeah. do all yeah. of yeah. this. Of course. Most definitely. And we so, think it's not a monopoly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course. Like and it's these same people who are like we're we're not going to give pub- publicity to these type of people these independent people we're going to give it to the ones that we're funding so then ultimately it's just like this this cat and mouse and it just continues to go every on year and every on year and they on. say less but two we're years, two here years. now and, and for those who say there's another option i'm just i'm sorry Katie. not right now there's not another now option. there's not so but if you if, if you are going to vote, which you should, because it is your responsibility. If you want to talk, fix stuff, do something little like vote. If you're going to do that, I just think 
that it's either Donald or no, Hillary. No, no, because I think I think you can vote for a third party you as can. a type of a protest. So you're saying you're going to protest no, and mess so, us up. So, let's so, let's, 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 let's talk let's, it out. Let's, let's, let's talk it, ladies. Let's not scream. I'm saying. Here's my question. I'm Hold sorry. on. No, no, no. Let me. I know you. You got your thing, but let me ask this to her too. To you both. I'm sorry. If you okay, so you think, and this is going to spark Gabby too, but. If you think that we should vote, we should vote. Okay, you just, you you have went on this huge thing about how we should vote, but we're not allowed to vote for who we want. We have to vote for the lesser of the two evils. How does that even make any sense? That doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make sense. It may not be fair, but the choice of the matter is, do you want a dictator or somebody who will kind of make up to uh, who cares about the public face? They they both seem like di- dictators to me. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't yeah. know. Anyway, go uh-huh. ahead, Gabby. You, you do your I'm little... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that Gabby. Was that, was, that was rude of me. I was saying... That you use your third party vote as a protest. We're not, we don't, most people that are on the Democratic Party, like people our age, don't trust Hillary Clinton. We think the Democratic Party really isn't that progressive enough. They're kind of just neoliberals. They kind of just do stuff, you know, for lip service or whatever. If you want to see a change in the Democratic Party, stop voting for them vote for a third party if you don't want to vote for donald trump so then they're going to have to come back to the drawing table and say what did we do wrong yeah how can we get these votes back just like when when people are trying to get you to boycott businesses Mm -hmm. if people aren't for you and they're saying racist stuff against you why would you give them your money so if these them if these parties are not supporting you they don't care about your voice they're only using you for a vote if you want to get get to them don't vote i agree I agree, but let me say, let me say, let me say something. Do I agree with you? Yes. Do I think we should do it? Yes. And should we be collective and unified when we do it? Yes. But if we're going to do something like that, it has to be early on. It has to be. Because if we decide right now to do a protest, we're going to mess around and protest ourselves into Donald Trump. But I mean, okay, let's say Donald Trump gets four years. He's going to do terrible. Now it's time for the Democratic Party to find a candidate that speaks to us, get you a candidate eight years in. But they're not going to do that. They're because people are too that. scared to vote or not or to sit out the vote because they always because they always it. want the lesser they of the two it. It. like even with Mitt God. Romney I mean Mitt yeah. Romney was not the best candidate but he wasn't a Donald Trump we could have done third party with that I mean Mitt Romney I would have voted for anybody in the Republican party I'm a Democrat I'm proud to say it but I would have voted for anybody in the Republican party except Ben Carson and Donald Trump yeah but yeah this is what I'm saying like Cruz they're... for God's sake uh-uh, never. anybody but... but Donald and Carson See, they me- they mess it up. Like if it would have been, that's what I'm saying. It's just it's crazy because every time they frame it like this Republican part president is going to uh, destroy America, so we never they never even we never even have a chance. People are too scared to to do something that's risky. To take that chance. Yeah. I agree. Should we take it? Yes, but early on, you can't take chances. When I mean, we can't take the chance until now. the re- the the re- president election. When we what I'm chance? saying is <laughs> when they announce that, hey, these people are running for president, uh-huh. this is what's going to happen. You have to be so unified in your um, decision for another party mm-hmm. that when I say nobody votes, I mean, quite literally nobody can vote maybe you know a handful of protesters maybe yeah. so a hundred maybe a hundred or thousand couple people thousand couple people but when i say nobody has nobody should vote across america nobody should vote not no just the happen. democratic party not just the republican party nobody should vote because if people are voting we're gonna mess around and I am a, I'm Hitler. I'm a dictator, but nobody voted and they, because they wanted to protest. So I'm Hitler and I'm in here. I'm in there now. What you going to do about it? You just wait for another four so years. Wait I'm another four about, years. Why but you the bill you go, land. you vote for the Senate and you vote for the House. You got to uh, Democrat. Can, can we talk about the delegate process? Because it, it's not really us who are voting. Mm-hmm. We yeah. are voting people. Well, not people voting vote people in. We're not even voting. But we, are, we have people who vote 
for us, us yeah. which could not be could potentially not be working in our best interest. Let me just it's say not, that it's not at all because these people could be voting. These delegates could be voting as no, we we didn't want Bernie Sanders. We wanted Hillary Clinton, but the majority of the people b- voted for Bernie Sanders. Yeah. It's never I mean, no, you it, never it's, know what they're we doing. never know what's really going to happen. I so really that's think they need point. to get rid of that. They need to have each vote, each, each vote individually. If that's the case, Tennessee would not be a um, Republican state. It just wouldn't. Right. With the Electoral College uh, yeah. voting for president. Like, it's, with us, like, it really is really hard. It's going to be really hard for us to get a... Uh, uh, become a democratic state because Tennessee is just so Republican, and yeah. that's in that in that space, it, our vote really don't count because I mean all our electorals they gonna vote for the dem, uh, Republican one. Yeah, that's why I was saying Congress and Senate local. It counts to me because I don't feel like you should complain about anything if you don't if you don't vote just because if you don't put your two cents in when it's asked for. Don't say nothing about when it ain't asked for. I mean, you can complain. Well, you can say I didn't vote for this candidate. If they if they mess up, well, I didn't vote for him. Or if yeah, you, did, you know, that's all you can say was I didn't vote for him. I didn't vote for him. I didn't vote for him. Don't say not nothing else. Don't say he did this or he ain't doing this or I can't get this because of that. Because it doesn't matter what you think. Because when you had a chance to say what you wanted to do, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it, does that really do. matter if we're saying that? Because we have those delegates it, there it for us who are it's already principle. saying that. It's just about principle. Who are telling us? Okay, so we have, and just to break it down, because I don't know if a lot of people who are listening may know that we do have delegates. It's basically like. We vote as people, as individual people, and then we have delegates who vote to and, yeah, the they parties add the, they add and those add up the up. delegates. Yeah. Right? Not the ones for us. Yes. They add up the ones for the delegates. So and we're, we're supposed to really trust matter? that they, they right. said what, what we wanted. We're supposed to trust that. But does it really matter if we're we're the ones that are voting when ultimately we're not the ones that are making the decision, it's the delegates that make the decision for us. And that's the big question. Yeah. Does it does it, does matter? it matter? Does it I, matter? Yeah, we, we all know my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um I just wanna say for anybody who does want to vote, um, this may not <laughs> pertain to you, but you can go to your um your uh Tennessee your uh government site, but this is for Tennessee people who want to vote. Um, if you want to register to vote, it's still time. You can go to the uh, county elections commission's office. You can go to the county clerk's office or a public library or the register of deeds office um, to vote, to, to register to vote. Um, when you are voting, don't let people tell you that you don't need an ID, that you don't need this. You do. Mm-hmm. You need an ID to vote. It's just the bottom line. Uh, you cannot, you cannot, you need a state issued ID. Yeah. Or passport, you you cannot use a, a college ID or a work ID. In, even if it says you are a work in Tennessee, you have to have a state issued ID. Yep. And if you're registered in one part of the county, you cannot vote in another part, no matter what they tell you. This is for anybody who wants to vote in Tennessee. Good information. Good information. So just to close it up, Joy likes the idea of voting. KT likes the idea of voting, but only kind of. <laughs> and uh, Gabby is against it. I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, I mean, all in all, I feel like we've gotten our point across to you guys and yeah. that you you understand kind of where we're coming from. And Each if you side don't, of it. then please leave some comments below. Yes, we really want to know your opinions. We really would like to know how you feel about these issues because ultimately it's you that matters and your opinion is what matters as As well as As long as you agree with Joy. No. (laughs) No, I'm just kidding. No. Don't forget if you have any comments, if you have any ideas for the show, to hit us up on our Facebook, facebook.com slash talkitoutpodcast. Also, our email, talkitoutpodcast at yahoo.com. Uh, we have a Tumblr, talkitoutpodcast.tumblr.com. And, uh, you know, you hear us on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash talkitout. We would love to hear from you. We might get your comments on here. We might even get you featured on the show. Like to do a little one-on-one type deal. 
Um, so, so yeah. let's send us your commentary. We, uh, we would also like to really mention that eventually we would like to feature some people. So if you do have some comments and you feel like if this really is something that you're passionate about, then please, please contact us at talkitoutpodcast at yahoo.com. Please. So that we could potentially feature you on our show. Well, None of even us. if you don't agree with us, we it's still want to hear your yeah. opinion. It's a, it's important to, to hear what other people are talking about. And that's the whole point of the show is to talk I also talk want it out. them to know that mm-hmm. it's okay for them if you have a topic that you want us to talk about please 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 leave it um send it to us because we all are here for you and myself because i like to talk to you and even if it is a hot topic or it's something that you think we're gonna be like no we're never gonna feature that we may just feature it just so that we can get a row out of ourselves or out of other out of people me. or <laughs> out of joy so <laughs> Thanks again for listening to Talk It Out. My name is Gabby. I'm Joy. Katie. This is Talk It Out. We'll see you later. Talk It Out.